Harper still. Let's get to our first match. And yesterday, out of the derby at Oriel Park, this is always a keenly contested affair. And yesterday's match was no different at all. Commentary on this one comes from Stephen Alkin and Damien Richardson. Cleared away by King. And Hatswell just tidying up. Wayne Hatswell, an interesting player. He is the assistant manager here to Ian Foster. One of the few veterans in this Dundalk lineup. McNally with that diving header. Big clash of heads there. Three players coming together and quickly the referee in to stop the game. Real commitment there from both sides. Let's hope there's nothing serious here, but that was a really bad clash of heads there. McDaly seems to be probably the worst, but it was just... I don't think any head collided, it's more of a banging of the upper bodies. But a concussion might be the problem, because Daly certainly took most of it, I feel. Just one of those sporting incidents that happen, but they're happening all too often these days. And unfortunately, the stretcher being brought out for the Drogheda United player who's still on the ground. Getting back into the game, and Len Pispardi was playing up front more or less on his own, so Alan Matthews is combating five across the middle with his own five players and joining from there. Duffy's come on on the outside right position. And as you said already, Brian King has gone to right back, and this is Duffy on the attack. <laughs> Decent cross, Flood with the chance, brilliant save. Here's the follow-up, Fitzpatrick scores. Draw the fans go mad, draw the United have the lead. Eight minutes. And that was a brilliant goal. Duffy pulled two players to him, laid a good ball back, a first-time ball in, got caused the problems. Keeper made a good save, but it came back out, and there was Len Fitzpatrick. Kendrick with the throw in, flood. Back to Kendrick. Not a bad cross, and the header goal where it's blocked by Burns. Onto it came flood. Flashed it over the bar, a real half chance that for draw the United. John Flood, though, just couldn't get over the ball. See how that ball is holding up on the breeze. Little arm in the face there from Mick Daly. And uh, another problem for Dundalk, one of their players down injured. Referee just going to stop the game. There was certainly, certainly contact with the arm. To me, that's a free kick. You can't lead with your arm like that. We see the effects of Corley. Referee should have been... He's watching that from only about 15 yards away, and he should have seen that. Andrade getting moving again, using the flank well. Duffy, nice little ball in. The cross blocked out. Was that a handball? Referee's given a penalty. It might have been spotted by the assistant on the far side. And a chance here for Drogheda United to double their advantage. 19 minutes gone, and that cross came off the Dundalk player, Ross Gaynor, I think it was, and the referee has now booked him first yellow card of the game. It's actually Miller who handled the ball. So now the penalty chance for Kendrick. And that's a fine penalty. And it's Dundalk nil, Drogheda United two, and maybe Drogheda on their way to their first win on this ground since 1998. Flood with Gaynor, the defender, close to him. Cross from King. Another chance, and this time it was Duffy who was in the centre who managed to get the header on that. Yes, Hatswell's there's header. that elbow again from Michael Daly. This time the referee's taking action against it. First yellow card of the new season, Mick Daly, who was sent off three times last year for Dundalk. He has to learn to take that out of his repertoire, that jumping for the ball with the, uh, the elbow raised. Kendrick's throw in to McGill. Giving it away this time. Bursting forward is Marr. He's got Fenn to his right. He's gone for goal instead, and that's a fine stop. Really good save by Skinner. Really good shot on target, too, by Marr. First shot on target with Venom by Dundalk today. Oh, 
gainer beaten in the air by King. And there's a foul there by Brian King. Mick Daly has sent the ball away, oh my word. Mick Daly was already in the book for the elbow, and Mick Daly is going to be sent off for kicking the ball away, and that's a really harsh decision. So, ten men for Drawdy United as they face into the last 28 minutes or so here. And a real chance for the dog maybe to exert more pressure on that draw to defence. Forward it goes from Hatswell. Good touch by Fenn. They're bursting into the box. Was that a handball? The uh, system on the far side has given the penalty. It's the exact same instant as before. And at least the consistency here has given Dundalk the penalty. And maybe they have a chance to get back into the game. Fenn against Skinner. And he scores. So it's one for Dundalk and two for Drada. And Dundalk very much back into this game. Gainer again, the former Drada United player, Melligan. Again, a high ball looking for Kodosevic. And now Fenn with the chance to shoot. The keeper spills it. Kodosevic makes it 2 2. Out of the blue, Neil Fenn shot, causing the mistake by Paul Skinner. And Dundalk's comeback is complete. It's Dundalk 2, Drada United 2. And now Duffy. Well tackled by Hatswell, the experienced player, driving forward into the space. And going for goal! Off the crossbar, what a shot by Hatswell. Wonderful thinking ahead, Hatswell here. Has his mind made up early, hits it. An exceptionally struck shot. Five in the box for Drogheda. Floated in, Harris with the header, and a super save. Probably looked more spectacular than it was, but Peter Cherry holding onto the ball as well. Referees looking at the watch. Melligan quickly closed down. The final whistle goes. A dramatic loud derby ends in 2-2. A brilliant game illuminated by goals for Drogheda United in the first half from Fitzpatrick and Kendrick from the spot. And in the second half, that sending off of Daly, allowing Dundalk to come back into it. Fenn with the penalty kick and Kadozovic with the equaliser. Really good game at Oriel Park. Perhaps honours even the best result in the afternoon. I've got to be pleased with the points because I thought we were disappointing. Um, we need to start games an awful lot better. Um, we were guilty of it last week and got away with it. Um, you know, but we, we went 2 0 down early and, and, and rightly so. If you can't stop crosses coming into your box and then count win headers when they're in your box, then you know you're gonna you're gonna come under an awful lot of pressure. And um, we didn't start the game as well as we should. Um, having said that, the, the players showed bags of character again and uh, and kept plugging away and kept going and. Uh, and yes, I'm happy with the point. I'm very pleased with the performance and the attitude shown by the players from the night, from the first to the off. But I'm deeply disappointed that we didn't come away here with three points. Um, I felt the referee played a significant part in depriving us of those three points. Um, I think there was a lack of consistency, which is possibly the kindest word I can use to describe his performance without getting myself into trouble. But I'm delighted with the attitude and the commitment and the resilience shown by the players, particularly to play the last half an hour um, with ten men. We'll have a look at some of those um, controversial